to my channel if this is your first time here hello my name is Mika thank you so much for stopping in so let's talk about waiting until you're ready so we all say that right oh when I'm ready to do this I'll do it when I'm ready to do that I'll do it but the truth is about waiting until you're ready is that you'll never be ready there's nothing in life that you will truly be prepared for where you can say, you know what, I'm actually ready to make this step because our minds are equipped to be comfortable. So whatever you've already been through, whatever you've already done, your mind is like, okay, we're safe here. It's, it's our comfort spot. Why do we need to change? So if you're thinking like, okay, I want to go to school. I want to go get a house. I want children. I want to get married. I want to go out of the country. Your mind is always going to find a way to say, yeah, but you're safer here. Yeah, but we're comfortable here. We don't really have the money for that. Are you sure you're ready to give up your freedom? Are you sure you're ready to be in a position where you're solely, you know, responsible for someone else? Are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? It's constantly going to be on your forefront. And that's just because you'll never be ready. So... When it comes to doing things when you're like, oh, well, when I'm ready, I'll do it. No, do it when you feel the most enthusiastic about doing it. When you feel like, you know what, it may be a scary jump, but I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to move states. I'm willing to get married. I'm willing to have kids. Whatever it is, do it. Because you'll look up one day and you'll be 20 years older than you was when you first had the thought to do it. And that's what happened to me even with my move to Texas from Indiana. I I had that thought like eight years ago and it was on me so strong, but that those thoughts started creeping in and doubt started creeping in and then just getting comfortable when I'm ready. When, when the time is right, I'll know. But you'll never know. I mean, you when you get that urge, that's usually when the time is right because it's coming to you for a reason. And if you believe in God, usually God is telling you, God is saying, okay, this is what you need to do. You're in a bad relationship. You know, you need to get out and then you're getting all the resources that you need, but then I'll wait until I make a little bit more. I'll wait until we try counseling again. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll figure it out. But then what happens when you're there in that same relationship, that same toxicity or that same unhappy space same unhappy job, still making the minimal money, still doing things that you just, you feel like you just dread having to leave the house to do, but you're still doing it because you are telling yourself, when I'm ready, I'll go and look for another job. When I'm ready, I'll, I'll make better friends. When I'm ready, I'll put myself out there to become a greater version of myself. I'll go to the gym when I'm ready. Keep on with that mindset and I guarantee you, you're going to be in the same predicament. You're going to be in the same space, saying the same things, singing the same tunes, I promise you. So when you are telling yourself, oh, well, when I'm ready to do this and, you know, when I, when I, when I get more money to do that and stop thinking like that, because first of all, life is not guaranteed to us. We don't know how long we have. So to keep saying, well, next year I'll do this or in three years, my plan is to do that. In five years, this is where I see myself. Well, you have to start living like tomorrow is your last day or like today is your last day. You just have to live that way because you just don't know. And even if you're still physically on this earth, things can happen. You could lose a job. Life can just change. Like I said, you can start having kids. Things can just change. So why just keep on saying, well, next year I'll take that trip. Or next year, I'll I'll make a move. Next year, I'll look for a better job. The more you do that, the more you're holding yourself back. And then you wonder why, why am I still here? Why my life is not like the people on Instagram? Even though that stuff is fake, so stop looking at it. But why is my life like this? And why is my friend's life like that? You know why? Because people just get up and do it. Even if it makes them uncomfortable, even if they're not even sure if they're making the right decision, people get up and they do it. That's how they're getting some some type of change in their life because they're at least just trying. Even if it fails, at least they can say they tried it and it didn't work. Or they can know a better way to approach it for next time. So you just sitting there telling yourself, well, 
trying to trying to map out your life you can't map out your life you don't have any control over your own life we think we like to tell ourselves oh yeah we have control over everything that happens to us in life that's not true you don't so why not try to do something get out of that comfort zone make do something crazy try something new enjoy life while you can because time goes fast and like i said despite not knowing how much time you have on earth you're getting older every day things change things are constantly changing we didn't expect the pandemic to happen a couple years ago and it happened and i'm sure a lot of people had plenty of plans for that year to travel and to do things and, and look for a couple years our world was on shutdown where we couldn't do things the normal way where it was really limited and we was just going through so much crazy nonsense scary things but we were going through so much during that time and then look that was a couple years of our lives that we didn't have any control over we were unable to do things that we normally would like to do we were unable to get close to our families and be in large groups and all that kind of stuff who's to say that that, will, that won't happen again so in my opinion you don't have to take my advice but if you are feeling the urge to do something even if you just want to start off small you want to start a business okay well start writing down your ideas start looking start researching into things that can help your business get off the ground whatever it is creating t-shirts creating makeup creating journals books whatever it is start planning for it now like not planning saying well in five years this is what's going to happen i'm just saying baby steps and just keep on rolling with it don't have a timeline for it as far as saying well in a year this is where i want to be because you don't know in six months things can blow up for you in a positive way it may take six years you don't know but the the thing that you can do and you owe to yourself is just to try it anyway put yourself out there stop making excuses about oh i can't do this because i don't have the money i don't have this i don't have there's so many resources out here that that god and the universe works for you when you are taking a step forward there's no help. They're not going to make those steps for you because you have free will to do what you want to do. So if you're making those steps for it and you're trying to get towards a goal, something that you feel is in you to do, and it seriously is for you, they're going to pave the way for you. you you're never going to know how it's going to work out. But if you just walk, if you try, if you put yourself out there, it will start to fall into place. But stop making excuses because all that I'll wait until I'll wait for and all that stuff. You need to let it go. That's just excuses. You will never be ready for anything life changing. You will never be ready. No matter how amazing it is, you will never be ready. And it will never turn out exactly the way that you are planning it to turn out anyway. You just have to be willing to make the steps. Be willing to get out of that comfort zone and be willing to say, you know what? I'm going to try it. That's what you have to do. No more planning. You can have an idea, but sitting back and just putting your life on hold by just sitting down and, and just planning everything out, trying to make everything perfect. Nothing in life is perfect. You are not perfect. Nothing will ever be perfect and nothing will ever go your way exactly the way that you map it out. But if you just put yourself out there, you'll be amazed at how many things you can accomplish in life if you stop making this excuse to stay comfortable. But you let me know what you think. We'll keep the conversation going. All I just ask is that you be polite and courteous in the comment box because like myself, there are other people reading your comments as well. And we're just here to uplift spirits, uplift energies, help one another to just see different perspectives and to have different ideas on how to do things. So we will keep the conversation going and we will talk next time. Bye.